In this video, I'm going to be talking about items that you could be wearing right now that are ruining an otherwise fantastic outfit. This could be your shoes, your pants, a belt, your current hairstyle might be letting down your outfit, like mine, or it could be something else. But this will all make sense as we get into the video, so let's get going. If you like this video at any point, please do drop it a like. And now that's all out the way, let's get into the video. So the first thing that I want to talk about is your shoes. Shoes are one of those items that can easily make or break an outfit, so it's really important to pay attention to them. You could be wearing the best outfit, but if you're wearing the wrong shoes with it, it can ruin the look you're trying to give off. So let's have a look at this lad here. I personally think the white sneakers he's wearing look completely out of place with the rest of his outfit. The outfit's giving me rocker vibes, and the sneakers are giving me summer picnic vibes, and they're completely ruining the feel of the outfit. And I think a pair of black boots would suit this look a lot more, just like this guy's wearing them in his outfit. They both got the same kind of jeans and the same kind of belt on, but the guy on the right's footwear suits his outfit a lot better. And the only thing the guy on the left needs to do is borrow the other guy's boots and it would make all the difference. And have a look at this outfit. I think these boots look completely out of place with the rest of the outfit and a pair of white sneakers would look a lot better here. Maybe not the picnic sneakers, but a pair of these for example. I just think the fit of the jeans don't work well with these boots and these boots would actually work better with the previous outfit we just looked at, but they aren't doing it for me here. But yeah, what I'm trying to get at is pay attention to your shoes. You should try and go for shoes that work well with the look you're trying to give off, rather than shoes that go against it. So if you're into Gorpcore, for example, then a pair of Solomon XT6s are probably going to work better for you than a pair of Chelsea boots. And if you're into the workwear style, then maybe a pair of Red Wings are going to work better for you than a pair of Adidas Stan Smiths. For punk styles, a pair of Doc Martens, or combat boots are probably going to be a good shout. Hopefully you get the idea. So point number two is all about headwear. Now finding a hat that suits you can be really difficult, so you're not the only one if you're struggling to find one. I still haven't found one that suits me perfectly, but I've got a few that I like that I do wear from time to time. Anyway, when you do find a cap that you absolutely love, it can be hard not to wear it with every outfit. You may think that every outfit you put on looks incomplete without your cap, but don't fall into this trap. And sure, your favourite cap might be making a lot of your outfits, but it also might be destroying some of them without you realising. So here's me in a couple of outfits with one of my caps. So without the cap, these outfits would work just fine, but I think they'd be a little bit boring. I think the cap acts as the cherry on top and brings both outfits together perfectly. But if we look at these two outfits where I'm wearing the exact same cap, that same cap that acted as the cherry on top of the last two outfits now looks like the dump on top. It doesn't suit the feel of either outfit and it's completely ruining the looks. So yeah, if you found a cap or a beanie that suits you really well, don't assume that it's going to work with every single outfit, because it probably won't. Next up, I want to talk about hair. So a hairstyle is another thing that can make or break your outfit. Now don't look at mine right now, I do need a cut, so it's probably letting down a lot of my outfits. But if you're going for a certain style with your outfits, then try and match your hair to that kind of style. For example, if you're loving the grungy aesthetic, then maybe a longer or messier haircut is going to suit that style better for you. But let's have a look at Jason to help me explain things. So if Jason wanted to go for a preppy style, then which haircut out of these two is going to work best for him with that style? I hope we can all agree that his shorter hair would work best for that. However, if he wanted to go for a rocker or biker look, then his long hair would suit that style so much better, I think. And it's not just a case of long hair equals biker or rocker and short hair equals preppy. It's going to be different for everyone. And let's have a look at a good friend of the channel, Timothy Chalamet, and see which hairstyle suits his style the best. Anyway, Timothy is a good looking chap and he looks good with both short hair and longer hair, but it's his longer hair that works best for him and his style in my opinion. It gives his outfits and his style more of an edge and his outfits look more interesting with his messier longer hair I think. His shorter hair just doesn't bring much to his outfits in my opinion. And before we move on to the next point, let's have a look at another old friend of the channel, Harry Styles. Again, he looks great with both long and shorter hair, but the shorter hair suits his style much better these days I think. However, a short back and sides might not be the best choice for Harry, even 
even though it's a shorter hairstyle, I just don't think it would suit his style as well. So it's really about playing around with different styles and seeing which one works best for you. No pun intended with the styles. But I change my hairstyle all the time so you don't have to stick to one for the rest of your life. Of course some hairstyles suit me better than others, but if you don't try them out, you'll never know. The next thing that might be letting your look down is your belt. I've really got into belts recently and I love to incorporate them into my outfits. And I think they can add a lot to an outfit. They create some visual interest and they keep things nice and tidy on the waistline. But they can also ruin a look completely if you go for the wrong kind of belt for the look you're trying to give off. For example, this is a belt that I wear all the time with my casual outfits and I love the look it gives off. It gives my outfits an edgy feel and I'm all about the edginess these days, so I wear it a lot. But even though I love this belt, I wouldn't wear it with a smart suit or for smarter looks. It would be far too distracting and far too casual. If I wanted to keep things smart, then a belt like this would work so much better or no belt at all. And if you're someone who has one belt that covers you for all occasions, then either that's the most versatile belt in the whole world or you might want to think about adding some more belts to your collection. Next, I want to talk about tucking and untucking tops. So when should you tuck or untuck your t-shirt or shirt? Well, with me currently, I like the proportions a tucked in t-shirt or a shorter length top adds to my outfits, but sometimes my t-shirts aren't short enough, so I tuck them in. I also like the visual break a tucked in t-shirt adds to my outfits, and if I'm wearing a snazzy belt, then I like to show it off. But I don't always wear my t-shirts tucked in. Some looks look better without it, but it really depends on the look. And if I'm going smart with a shirt, then I will always tuck it in. But with outerwear, so sweaters, hoodies, jackets, or coats, I never tuck them in. Unless it's a jumper made out of extra fine merino wool, then I might tuck that in. But if it's anything bulky and you tuck it in, then it's gonna create a load of lumps and bumps in your trousers, and I don't like that look. If a sweater or hoodie or jumper is too long for me these days, then I more than likely won't buy it. But with the stuff I've already got, then sometimes I'll fold in the hem. But I know not everyone feels comfortable tucking in their tops, so if you don't feel comfortable or you don't like the look, then don't do it. At the end of the day, if you don't feel comfortable in something, it's not gonna give off a great look anyway. So just do what makes you feel comfortable. The next thing that I wanna talk about is cuffing pants. Should you do it or not? Now with jeans, I think a single or double cuff can work really well, especially with selvage denim. But if you're having to cuff your pants more than that, then maybe think about getting them altered. And when it comes to pants like chinos, I just don't think they look that great with a cuff. I think a cuff that's already sewn in looks good, but a cuff done by yourself by rolling up the pants, it just looks a little bit sloppy. Of course, if you love the look of a cuff pant and it suits your style, then go for it. I'm only telling you what I do and what I like most of the time. And while we're talking about cuffing things, let's talk about cuffing your sleeves. When should you do it and when shouldn't you do it? Well, when you wanna do it is when you should do it. But if you don't know, then I'll let you know what I do. So if I wanna give off a more laid back and casual look, then I might roll up my sleeves. But if I wanna keep things cleaner and smarter, then I won't and it's as simple as that. And we do need to talk about smell. I've said it before in videos and I will say it again, but if you smell bad, then it's gonna let down your look no matter how good it is. Of course that goes for bad breath, and BO, but it also comes down to the cologne you're wearing as well. I don't think it's ever a good idea to cut corners when it comes to cologne. Get something that works well for you and gives you confidence. What's the point of going to all that effort to put together a nice outfit to then spray something that doesn't match it in terms of quality. And I'd actually rather wear no cologne at all rather than wearing one that's not absolutely delicious. If you like this one, please do drop it a like. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. See you later.